it's never too late to start drawing. It's never too late to, to be an artist. You can be an artist even if you're not making money on it or even if you don't think you're good. It's all in your heart. Regina Krotzer and James Rolston work together at Frankfurt High School in Philadelphia and share a passion for the arts. Not only are they co-workers, but as Regina tells us, they also became art buddies. So as I remember it, we were just getting on the train at the same time after school. And then I think I mentioned going to a museum the night before. And he's like, oh, I love going to museums. And I'm like, well, I'm starting to do art. And he's like, actually, I just started doing art too. Since their meeting, Regina and Jim make frequent visits to the park together, finding inspiration in their surroundings to fuel creative ideas. Oh, we come to the park because there's a lot to draw here. James does mostly like skylines and architecture, which there's a lot around here. I do more natural things, birds, animals, uh, nature, that kind of thing. We were just talking yesterday about how like it's so hard to get motivated to draw by yourself. Um, and it's if you have an excuse, if it's like we're going to the park to draw today, like you're going to draw today. Both Jim and Regina have admired art their whole lives, but haven't considered themselves artists until they got older. Do I consider myself an artist? Yes and no. But as somebody who just like makes art? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't make money from it, but I, I feel like it's part of my identity. Because of the place that art holds in their lives, they believe it's important that art is involved in their teaching and in their alone time away from hundreds of 16-year-olds. I teach English as a second language, so I'm teaching uh, uh, folks who don't speak English. I try to definitely incorporate art that is by artists from the countries that they're from. And then it also, like, as much as I love my students, it is a very good way to de-stress. Re-entering the creative mindsets they once had as teenagers can be difficult to access. But Regina and Jim have actively made changes in their thought processes in order to create without being dictated by self-criticism. Do I find it difficult? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm extremely hard on myself. Like, and not in a way that's like, it drives me to do it, in a way like, that is not helpful. And so this is also a way to get past that, of just like, nothing's fun until you get good at it. And so if you don't, I have to force myself to be bad and let myself be okay being bad at it for a while honestly I feel like it took just a lot of like meditation and self-talk like uh, capturing those negative thoughts when they're happening and, it, and immediately saying okay no that that it doesn't have to be good like who cares if it's good you're practicing you're having fun you're feeling good that's all that matters Regina and Jim are a great example of folks that haven't begun making art until they became adults, but aren't any less of an artist than someone who started at an earlier point in their lives. Art is constantly for everyone. Yeah, I mean, like, if I had started way earlier, I might be in a totally different place in my life. I think everything happened for a reason, and, like, what else am I going to do with my 30s?